My name is Elizabeth, and today we're going to be talking about the importance of good spinal health when in standing position. It's important to have good spine health in a good standing posture because that's able to increase our balance and able to increase our muscular strength, our muscular flexibility, and improves our ability to walk, run, and of course, lifting weights. It is very important to keep this good spinal health because when we have bad spinal health, we tend to lose our flexibility, we tend to lose our ability to breathe, and we tend to go into a, over to a hunched position where a lot of our spinal health is strained. When we're standing on our own two feet, we have an increased proprioception awareness and an increased neuromuscular control. All this means is that our body has a heightened sense of awareness rather than sitting on the ground. We have nothing around us to hold on to, so we're relying on our own muscular strength and endurance and flexibility to keep us upright. Our spine has a natural S-shaped curve to it where all of our nerves, our discs are nice and aligned, nice and happy. We have all the cushioning layers in between working correctly. When we go into that kyphotic hunch, which tends to happen due to technology now being more prevalent, we have our electronic devices and rather than bringing them up to eye level, we're dropping them down which lowers our neck, which naturally our shoulders and our back follow. When this happens, it takes the top part of our spine, puts it into a more curved position, almost bulging our discs through the back, causing more nerve damage, causing a lot more pain later in life. The further curved we go into our top cervical of our spine, our lower spine near our pelvis tends to straighten out. So sitting becomes more difficult because our pelvis is not more rounded. Breathing becomes more difficult because our diaphragm is so much more hunched over. We lose core strength, our pectorals tighten, our back muscles are stressed even more. So it's very, very important to wanna to keep and preserve our natural spine as best as we can. We are gonna start with the neck and shoulders we're gonna do a scapular squeeze. So you're gonna take your arms, bend them to 90 degrees. You're gonna take your shoulder blades, pretend like you're squeezing a pencil. Hold three, two, one, release that contraction and come back forward again. Repeat this exercise 10 to 12 times. Hold that squeeze for three seconds and then move on to your next one. We generally do the standing shoulder blade squeeze to help with the over tightening of our pectoral muscles. When we go into a hunched over position due to bad posture, our pectoral muscles get tight. When we can squeeze those shoulder blades back, hold for a three second position, we get a good stretch, good lengthening of those muscle fibers and also get some good stretch of the back as well. So the next exercise we're gonna perform is a wall angel. I want you to bring your feet back against the wall but not quite touching. Have your booty rest against the back. I want you to put your shoulder blades flat against the wall and that head back as well. Take those arms, put them into a W position, a good 90 degree bend. I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades. While you're squeezing, I want you to press up and form a Y. Come back down, come into that W position. Shoulder blade squeeze, press back up into that Y position. Repeat 10 times, maybe do it a few times throughout the day. Because we're standing up against the wall, it allows us to use more core strength. When we bring our elbows down to the side, it's mimicking a natural motion. When we bring our shoulder blades up, it's essentially mimicking reaching up to put something in the cabinet. We have to do that throughout our day to maintain activities of daily living, so this is a great full body exercise to do often. A great stretch for the back, neck, shoulders and a little bit of our pectoral muscle as well. So the next exercise making our way down our kinetic chain is focusing on core and hip. So a rotating standing crunch. We put our hands behind our head. When we're rotating, I want you to bring that opposite elbow to opposite knee. You don't have to go into a full bend crunch. I prefer if you keep proper spine alignment because when we go into a hunched over position, we tend to lose core strength and core flexibility, really relying on our back and spinal muscles. 
So when that's the case, when we can get these muscles nice and tight, we'll pull us back up into an upright position. And this is a great exercise to help with those muscle groups. So I want you to take your feet, separate them about shoulder width apart. Bring your hands up to your side, the back of your fingers touching your head. Rotate your hips, bring your opposite elbow, opposite knee, coming up into a marching position, rotating to each side, alternating legs. Repeat this exercise 10 to 12 times, each leg. Repeat often throughout the day. Our next exercise, we're gonna focus on our quad hips and booty. The best exercise to do for this is a standing squat. When we do that squat, we're mimicking a motion of getting up and down off a chair, maybe pushing yourself off of a toilet, so a very natural movement. When we do this, we really wanna protect our knees, so it's very important to get your hips back into a pelvic tilt. Then you wanna squat down into that movement, have your quads parallel to the ground, mimicking natural motion, because that's about a height of a chair. I want you to push up through the arch of your feet, nice, slow, and controlled, getting good activation of those quads, hamstrings, and glutes. So I want you to separate those feet again about shoulder width apart. Put your hands on your hips. Make sure you get those hips back nice and far. I want you to bend those knees, keep that back nice and straight. Make sure those knees do not go over your toes. I want you to repeat this exercise 10 to 12 times. Maybe repeat it throughout the day. Our fifth and final exercise is a calf raise. When we walk throughout our day, our calves are activated as soon as we push off through our toes. So this is a great exercise to keep nice and loose because it really affects our balance when we're standing still, when we're walking everyday activity. So a good lengthening of those muscles when we go up on those toes, then it shortens back down and relaxes. So repeating this is very, very good. You are more than welcome to put your hand on the edge of a table, of a chair, anything you need to help you with balance. I want you to push up through your toes, come right back down with control. Repeat this exercise 10 to 12 times, just do it throughout the day. So the biggest takeaway from having good postural alignment and good spine health is staying tall. Think about a balloon or a string pulling you upright, bringing that chin up, a neutral gaze in your eyes, shoulders back and down, a nice tight core, weight equally distributed through your hips, feet flat on the ground, avoiding weight shifting, and that should help with a good postural health.